transportation. We we need to solve congestion in Metro Vancouver. Apart from that, have you had any commitments from any of the parties regarding the removal of the viaducts and if they're going to support you in doing that? Uh, we, we've been working with the BC government on the, uh, the viaduct removal project, so there's, there's still work to do to finalize the, um, the provincial commitment on that. Uh, I haven't heard from the other parties yet, and that's something uh, we're, we're working on. And uh, Hopefully we have clarity from all the parties uh, on, on what they will do to help us implement that change, because there's a big neighborhood that's about to be built right where the, uh, the viaducts are, a big new park, lots of new housing, and uh, we want to get that project underway. Where's the timeline on that? Well, we're, we're working towards starting construction next year and building the road network uh, on, the, on the ground uh, before the viaducts can come down. They are not safe uh, seismically. If we have a major earthquake, the viaducts can come down and take out the SkyTrain tracks. So that's a, a big part of the reason that we need to make this happen uh, at, with some urgency. And we're looking at construction hopefully starting next year if we get commitments from the province and, uh, and the various landowners. As mayor of Vancouver, what are the key issues for you in the solution? What do you want to work for? Based on what you need. Well, I'm, I'm still uh, keen to see parties commit more and, and uh, you know, raise the bar in terms of commitments to solving uh, affordable housing challenges. Homelessness is a big issue across the region now. It's a huge crisis all over Metro Vancouver. Transit and transportation is a, is a huge priority for myself, for mayors across the region. Uh, those are really big, big key steps. Uh, affordability is a huge issue in, in the region, and housing and transportation are, are fundamental to that. So I, I'd like to see them continue to make more commitments across the board when they compare. Uh, you know, right now it's not even, and I'm hoping that uh, that parties will pick up the pace and uh, and make more commitments to the region on affordability. So you mentioned homelessness. There was a coroner's report released today that uh, 70 deaths in uh, 2015 and the numbers increasing what are your thoughts on that it's tragic I, you know we've been we've been working so hard in the city of vancouver to address homelessness particularly people sleeping outside on our streets and uh, you, we just haven't had enough support from the provincial government or the federal government uh, in the eight plus years i've been mayor and issued the challenge and and, and the goal to uh, to eliminate street homelessness that uh, that needs to happen. So you know we've seen it spread across the region. It's far worse across the region. We're seeing people dying of homelessness at, at unprecedented rates. The overdose crisis is related to it as well, and and the, uh, the hundreds of deaths across the region. So we're seeing huge impacts on our most vulnerable population right now, and that's certainly the next provincial government uh, needs to focus on on taking care of vulnerable people and investing in, in housing and healthcare to support people. What kind of things is the city doing to support them? Well, as a city, we've we've uh, we've been buying buildings, opening up housing. We've been opening up more shelters. We've uh, we've put tens of millions of dollars into uh, into the the homeless challenge here, and uh, and we have keep expecting the provincial and federal governments to step up and play their primary roles. They they are they have more responsibility for housing and health, obviously healthcare than uh, than the city does. But so we're stepping far beyond where any city uh, in Canada has gone before to address homelessness. But we, we can't solve it without significant commitments from provincial and federal government. Thank you. Thank you so much. Everyone. Thank you very much.